Welcome to this video on creating custom motion paths in Video Studio. This is a powerful feature within the Customize Motion screen that allows you to save motion paths as you've created to reuse them for other elements that you want to have the same motion either within the same project or across different projects. If you're new to Customize Motion, you'll need to watch our tutorial on this subject first as we'll initially be carrying on from where we left off. If you've already seen it, you'll know we created the motion of this windsurf clip over a beach background. Creating motion can be a bit time consuming with the amount of keyframing you need to do and I wanted to have at least three different windsurf clips in this project. Going in and creating the same keyframes at exactly the same duration so that things look consistent would be a chore. So instead, I can just right click the first windsurf clip and go to Customize Motion once more. As you'll see, the check mark next to Customize Motion shows that it's already applied to this clip. Now that I'm back in the motion editing screen, I can simply select Save To. I give my custom motion a name and I'll choose to save it as a path with all attributes. More on this shortly and I'll save it to my custom folder. Now, back on the timeline, I can go to the path menu, select my custom folder and I can now see my path without the video clip that I'd associated it with previously. And it's as simple as dragging this motion path onto my other two windsurf clips. And now they have exactly the same movement as my first clip, keeping my projects consistent and saving me a whole lot of time. But you can also use motion paths in a different way. With a new project, I'll select the graphic menu then from the color submenu, I'll just pick a color and drag it to my timeline. I'll extend it to five seconds in length. I want this to be a background for some text that's going to animate onto the screen. Go to Customize Motion. Then I'll resize this so it's suitable for a text box. And add a couple of keyframes so that it animates onto the screen from the right. Then moves off the screen on the left. I'll also give it a shadow. I want to put some text on top of this box, so I'll save it as a custom path again. But this time, I'll save it as path only because I only want the text to follow the box's position. Because I made the box shorter than its default size, the text would look skewed as its height would not be the same as its length and I also don't want the text to have any shadow as the text will be sitting inside the box. So back on the timeline, I create my text. Let's say it's a title for someone in a documentary. Resize the text so it fits in my text box. Change the color if I want. Then make it the same length as my text box of five seconds. Then just go to path and drag my text box path in. And my text now sits on top of the text box as it enters and leaves the screen. I can then reuse this motion path on different scenes or projects whenever I need something to enter and exit the screen in this way. Happy editing.